Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 2 of the self-driving car simulation using convolutional neural networks. In the previous part, we looked at the concept and collected the data. In this part, we are going to initialize our data so that we can visualize it and later use it during our training. So let's get started. So once the installations are done, the very first thing we will do is to import our data. So we are going to do this in steps and we have a total of 10 steps. So step one is basically importing the data information. So we will write here step one and we are going to create a function and we are going to say that our data is equals to import data info and then we are going to send in our path so this path is basically my data the folder that we have created so we can write here my data so now we will go to our utilities and over here we are going to import pandas import pandas as pd and then import numpy as np so here we will write our function so we will say that imports data info and then we have the path so we are going to first define the names of the columns that we have so columns is equals to as I've mentioned before, the first one was center, then the second one was left, left, then the third one was right, then we had steering, then we had brake. And the last one was speed. So then we are going to import our information from the driving log. So what we are going to do, we are going to write data is equals to pd.read CSV because this is a CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated values. So then we are going to give it the path now this path is just referring to the data after the data we have the name of the file so we have to join the name with the my data folder so we are going to use os for that import os and we will say that os.path.join and we want to we want to join path and we also want to add driving log driving underscore log dot csv at the end and then we are going to say that the names of our columns are basically columns then we can print this out so we can say prints data dot head so it will show us the initial information and let's go back and over here we can see that we have an error because we have to import actually let's import the whole thing so we will say that from utilis imports everything it's still giving an error probably the name yeah so this should be capital so if we run this now and there we have it so this is the path of our image and then we have the rest of the columns and at the end we have the speed so if we were to only get the first column the the center information what we can do is we can write here data and we can write center and then we can say that for example the first element 
So let's print that out and see what we get. So there we have it. So this is the name or this is the path of our file, the image that we need. Now, in order to import this, we only need the name at the end with .jpg. So what we will do is we will remove all of these folders from our path. So what we can do if we go back, okay, we are already here. So what we can do is we can uh, create a function that will split this based on this uh, slash and then we can separate it and we can get the last element of it so we will write get name and then we will send in our file path and then we will return the file path dot split we want to split it based on the slashes and then we will get the last element because we only need the last part so if we want to test this out we can write here uh, actually let's do both of them so i will copy this and we are going to write here get name so let's run this and there we have it so this is the actual path that we had and after the split we are all only getting the name of our file which is uh, our image so now we need to apply this to all our images in our data file so what we can do is uh, let's comment these out and what we can do is we can say that the data at the center is equals to data at the center dot apply and we will write get name so this is the reason why we created a function get name so that we can use this apply method and this will automatically apply it to whatever number of images we have uh, in our data list so uh, here we are going to apply to all of them and uh, we can we can print it again to see if it worked or not so we can write print data dot head and this should give us the result so there we go so now instead of the complete path we just have the file name with the extension okay so what can we do next we can um, actually print out the complete number of images the total number of images that we have so we can say that total total images imported or in the data are basically your data dot shape at zero so we can remove the head and we can print it again and there we have it so we have a total of 13,088 images so this is only for the center we have another 13,000 for the left another 13,000 for the right but as I have mentioned before we are only going to use the center images and not the left and right Now, once that is done, we are going to return our data. So here we will get our data. So this is it for today's video. In the next part, we are going to visualize our data and we will balance it out so that the training process is not biased. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.